already promoted to Division 2 to look forward to for next year, but trying to get some hands on silver work comes on, comes after this, Irish. Yeah, no, definitely. Like it's great having the promotion. You can kind of look forward to that game that bit more. You can just that bit more freedom when you do go out and play. Um, still very determined to come home with some silverware that day. You know, league finals don't come around that often. Um, so and they're there to be won. So we'll definitely be going out, hopefully to bring home some silverware. Do you think there? You know, obviously you are promoted now, but do you think there's a lot less pressure going into Burr on Saturday, knowing that it's not last year's format? Yeah, no, definitely. It definitely does help. It kind of just creates that bit more relaxation, I suppose. You know, you have you got your promotion. Kind of that's the main goal when you start out the season is to gain promotion. So to kind of have that under the belt already, it kind of does. It lets the whole thing just maybe settle, maybe play even play a bit more better football because there's less pressure on you. And uh, yeah, probably play that bit more freedom. So yeah. Come, coming off the back of last season, was it always priority number one to get promotions out of the league? Yeah, no, definitely. Like, it was to be relegated last year, to go up the year before and to be relegated again was something we were really disappointed with. You know, we kind of had a big transition with the team that year and it was only a kick of a ball that got us relegated in the end. It was only a point in the difference that got us relegated. So something we were disappointed with and something that, you know, when you want to compete in all our end series, you want to be playing Division 2 football. You know, you want to be playing the better teams. That's where you want to be, cause you're, that's where you're going to develop players and everything and as a team. So, uh, it's, yeah, I think it's a big focus at starting out the year is to try and gain promotion to Division 2 and hopefully push on from there then. You mentioned the squad, you know, there's a few faces have left the squad. Good few mm. come back in. Yeah. There is a very strong squad there and it has shown with that unbeaten streak thus far in the league. Yeah, no, definitely. And like the strength of the panel, like it's just this year is really, really strong. You know, the last few games, it's girls coming off the bench that have really got us over the line, you know, and I think that's really, really important. And we struggled a bit this year with injury, like even losing our, our captain, Lee Feeney there. She, she is out, missed majority of the games waiting through injury and one of our better forwards too, Ashling Feely. You know, and when you have players like that lost due to injury, you need other girls so it's great. We've had other girls to step up to fill in them gaps and they're yeah, they're doing a really, really good job. You know, you mentioned there I suppose filling for filling in the gaps and everything. Mm. Have you found that, you know, with her gone you've had to step up now with the more of the leadership role on the field? Yeah, on the field, but Neva's still doing super work off the field, you know, injured or not, she's still at every session, she's still you know, great leader, you know, and someone that we do always look up to. And she's always, every session, you know, always texting about different things, organising different things, you know. So, injured or not, she's still very much in control. You know, for, for Ross Common, I suppose, you, as you said, they were coming off the relegation last year, you know, surviving the relegation playoff in the championship. Has mm -hmm. the, the league campaign given that maybe that fresh lease of life into the team to build on now for a championship from the latter, latter stages of this year? Yeah, no, definitely. You just get a bit of confidence from, from winning these games, you know, to go through the league campaign unbeaten is something, you know, it doesn't happen too often, you know, um, especially when losing players. You know, every game there's a different injury or, you know, they're the league, you're playing through winter football, you're playing through storms, everything. Um, so I think it does stand to you and to just gain that bit more confidence, get game time into players. You know, even playing our last league game there against Antrim, we had already got promotion. So we'll kind of give that chance to other girls that might not have got much game time, you know, give them that opportunity to, to show what they can do, you know, so I think that's really, really important and just to get that bit of experience and give um, that bit more confidence as well going into the league. Going, in, going into to Saturday, it's obviously clear. You've mm. been in the group stage, you know how tough they can be. Yeah. It is going to be a tough game. Obviously, you say that it was probably a little bit of pressure lifted with mm -hmm. the promotion already secured. You do want the silverware. They want the silverware. So it's going to be a tough battle. Yeah, no, definitely. We know Claire. We know what type of football they can play. They have some very, very dangerous players there. Um, but nothing that we won't be prepared for, you know. We've a lot of dangerous players too, but um, yeah, hopefully we can just book out and play, you know, as good as football as we can, and hopefully it'll be a good game. What would it mean to, I suppose, yourselves, the panel, Ross Common, ladies football in general, to get that silverware secured, as something that you can build on to now looking for the championship? Yeah, no, I think it's it's really really important. You know, finals are there to be won, and like I said, they definitely do not come around that often at all. So I think yeah, that's the mind frame that we'll definitely be going into or going in with, you know, you kind of nearly have to forget that you have promotion and maybe going with the mind frame that you're fighting for a promotion because uh, taking on that silver is, is something really important for us and I think even going into the All-Ireland Series, I think to have that under our belt, I think we'd really push on from there.